Hey there everybody, welcome to Exist a Game and I'm back with Resident Evil Remastered. Look at this dude. What? What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Yeah, sit there and look stupid. You don't even know how to climb. So we're not gonna waste our ammo on him. And in this video, guys, we're gonna try to try to get outside the mansion or at least fight the coffin boss if we can somehow maybe get to him. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But let me just say thanks to you guys for all your support. We really appreciate that. And if you're enjoying these videos, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll keep getting these videos out to you. If there's something specific you need to see, need help with, anything like that, just let us know. We'll try to get to it for you. And I think, I'm hoping, anyway, that right out here, yes, that's what I need. And there is a big-ass dog behind me. Get off me, dog. There's two of them. I am not sticking around right now. I got what I came for. I noticed there's still an herb out there, but we'll get to that later. I should have brought my shotgun. I didn't think about it. Oh, here we go. I guess they want to come finish the job. I can remember 20 years ago when I played that. That part did scare the hell out of me. I kind of expected every time I walked through that hallway. Now, I never knew exactly when it was coming, but I knew it was. We're going to head right over here to where that little mini plant is in that fountain. I think there might be a death mask is really what we're after right now. I have two of them at the moment, so I need two more. And once you have that chemical plants, whatever it is, plant chemical, come back here. And let's see. Yep, the pump is open. We're not going to pump the water. I know the red one goes to the plant. I just happen to remember that. Throw that on in there. We're going to pump the water. Turn the red one. And... Kill that mother... Yeah. I'll be nice. Kill the pretty plant. And here we have what we're after, our death mask. All right, I got a few herbs, quite a few herbs, and I am going to come back and get them. So, oh shit. No, no. Yeah, I definitely need to be carrying around my shotgun, guys. Jill... She gets a little more ammo, it seems like, or it could just be because I'm playing it on the, what I thought was normal at first. I picked the difficulty in the middle, but I think it turns out that difficulty levels are categorized as very easy, then easy, then normal, and normal being the hardest one open from the beginning. So I just picked the middle one, and it turned out to be the easy one, but that's okay. I got Chris going on a hard on the normal. And it is a little more difficult, I have to admit, but it's not too bad. 
All right, we got a got quite a few shotgun shells going. Got our ink ribbons and three of our death masks. So we'll set that up there until we find our fourth one, which I think we'll go ahead and get the painting puzzle out of the way, maybe. Let's see. I still didn't grab the shotgun. What is wrong with me? I'm trying to save ammo and save it for what? Just use it. And anybody that's watched any of my videos pretty much knows I'm an achievement point junkie. So there is an achievement to shoot, you know, get five headshots basically on zombies and shotguns. And I don't have the Magnum yet. That's another easy one to get headshots with. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put the ammo up and just take the six rounds with me. But yeah, now we'll head over to that painting puzzle and see if we can't get that done over in the crow room. I think I was in there one other time, maybe, or I don't know, playing with two characters. I sometimes get confused about what I've done and what I haven't. So. But if you are having difficulty with this painting puzzle, because I'll be honest, I had trouble with it at first. Um... The basic behind it is the light shining has to be changed to a certain one and then anyway it's it's just a lighting issue it's kind of hard to explain be able to show you a lot better than I'll be able to tell you Alright, you got the room with the dogs here, the little hallway. Whoa, 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 no, 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 we've already done that. So you can get by the dogs most of the time without even taking a hit. No point in wasting your ammo there. And I'm gonna go ahead and equip this shotgun. And that's why I knew it. What is it? Two or three of them, maybe. Should I take them out? Let's take them out. Come on, boys. Got their slow. Walking Dead style. One headed. Oh! Oh! Off me! Oh, jeez, what am I doing? No, I shot that time. There, I shot that time. Die, dude! Well, that's three dead zombies. I wasted two battery packs, two daggers, and like three shotgun shells on three zombies. That does not sound like a good ratio. And there's another zombie right there. There. At least I got one the way I wanted. All right, that does bring us to the painting puzzle. Um, what I was saying was these lights that are shining here, I guess inside here when you hit the switch, you want to hit this first one anyway that's yellow. And, um, once you press that, it becomes an orange light. And the light that is shining, I guess, determines what kind of light, you don't want to disturb these crows, determines what kind of lights pass through these paintings. Now, as you can see... You got a painting at the end here. 
She has on a green crown, a purple necklace, and an orange bracelet. So if you look at this picture, it's a Valiant wearing a bracelet, and it's already orange, which is the color of the bracelet in the painting there. So if you come to this one, you want to press that, and it turns it purple, which is the purple necklace. And then, of course, you got the crown. And if you press this button, it's going to make it green. And that's what you want. So basically, it's just the first picture when you first come in. And then the first two around the U corner. And you leave the third one. And then you come down here. And you press the switch. And we're good to go. For our fourth one. Now. Now we're pretty much ready to fight Mr. Coffin Guy. And I might go ahead and just get that done in this video. That would be a really good way to end the video. A little boss battle for you. Can't get any better than that. So I'm going to run to the inventory room. Pick up what I need. Wait a second. There might be one right here. Maybe an inventory room right here. I don't know. I could be tripping. Yeah, right around the corner here. All right. So that's what we need. We just need to pick up our death masks and a little ammo, maybe an herb. Yeah, we'll take... Uh... Uh, we're gonna put the lighter up because we're not gonna need that. Let's see, I will need I will take a mixed herb. I'm actually gonna take this regular herb right now. Uh, we'll put the armor key up for just a minute. Let's see. Oh, shit. I want to fill up my shotgun ammo. Just getting prepared for the boss battle. I know it's a coming. Put that there. Let me take this herb real quick. I'm not being real efficient with my menus here, but that's the way it goes sometimes. All right. We'll get the rest of these masks. Now, I won't need the armor key because where I'm going. All the doors are already unlocked. So let's hurry up and get over there. I'll pick it up when I get there, guys. Alright, and in case you didn't know where this coffin battle was and where the death masks go, you're in the I'm in the first room of the mansion here, the foyer area. You have to do this back door at the top of the first set of stairs.
and you just come on down long set of stairs so here we got the four spots where the four death masks go um, you can examine them to see exactly which ones they are uh, no mouth on this one. I think there's another one I needed to examine. Yeah, right here. So yeah, that's a... Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory story once you get down here. The first one, the stone statue will hold where the eye should be. So you want to use the mask with no eyes. There you go. Eyes, nose, and mouth. That's this one, I think. Yep. And you know there's nothing good in there. Nothing good comes of that. This one, I believe, is the one with no nose. Who's that? And your final one. Alright, so we run on over. And we know he's going to get out of there. We got Freddy Krueger claws. The door is going to shut us in. We are now trapped. I'm going to use my shotgun on him. Oh, shit. Oh, he got me twice. Not good. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, what's up now, dude? Oh, what? You want to keep going? Huh? No, my achievement says you don't want to keep going. And we'll... Go ahead and just get reimbursed plus one on our bullets, and we are now the proud owners of a emblem here. And that emblem will be leading us outside. So anyway, guys, that's this video. We got it done today. And uh, I'll be back with our next video. We'll probably be heading out to the courtyard and see what kind of trouble we can't get into out there. And like I said, appreciate all your support. Keep tuned in for all the best games. We're going to be doing Dying Light this week. And uh, play on, guys.